This summer, one of my friends and I stood at my kitchen counter, snacking probably, and and you know I shared with her that I didn't know what my calling was, that I didn't know what God was calling me to as a woman and as a writer and as a speaker. And you know, as we talked through that, we really came up with that I have this adoptive mother's heart. And it's so true. I am an adoptive mother, but I have an adoptive mother's heart for all women, and not just women, but the people around me. You know, when they told me in 2012 that my body wouldn't hold a baby, my heart was broken. I never imagined that that would be my story. But God, 17 years earlier, had been preparing this story, honestly. I was in Haiti, and a child handed me a note. The note broke me. It said, um, would you adopt me? And I still have that note. I've held on to it. It really changed my story. Though I couldn't, at the time, I was only 18 years old, I knew that one way or another, one day, I would be a mother through adoption. I just didn't know it would be the way I would be a mother. Funny enough, we'd actually already started the adoption process when we got the hard news that we wouldn't be biological parents. And although we grieved, and it was a really hard loss, it was not without hope. You see, the crazy thing is, at the same time that we were getting that horrible hard news, our daughter was being born into this world, and I can't imagine life without her. With my daughter's arrival, there was a realization that I have this adoptive mother's heart that, that really believes that there is room for you at our table. That says, I will do the hard things and I will keep telling you that you are lovable and blessed and able and created as a masterpiece until you are able to believe it for yourself. That there is purpose for your life. I see remarkable hope in the adoption process, really. There is grief and shocking loss and pain for all involved. And I wouldn't have understood it had I not gone through it. And we all go through it in some way, don't we? And yet there is hope. There is shocking, remarkable hope. And there is redemption of our stories and of our circumstances. There is this love that says, I choose you even in your brokenness. And I believe that you are so much more than your story or where you've come from. So that's why I write, honestly. And I hope that's why you're here. I know we can journey through this together. I know that all of us, we may not have had to go through what I've gone through, but all of us experience this pain um, in, as we journey through. Life is just hard. I'm so glad that you're here with me. I can't wait to get to know you.